In this video, we will be discussing about the proteasomes, its types and the structural differences. The proteasomes are the complex protein molecules which degrades or is used to degrade the proteins. But what kind of protein it degrades? It's used to degrade the misfolded proteins, those misfolded proteins which fails folding in chaperone machinery. It's used to degrade the damaged proteins. It's also used to get rid of unwanted proteins from the cell at the specific time. If we look at the simple pathway of degradation, we have the protein molecule which is to be degraded. And on this target protein, first of all, the ubiquitination occurs which is mediated by the ubiquitin ligase enzyme. It adds ubiquitin residues to the protein thereby marking the target protein for degradation. Here in this diagram, we can see the ubiquitin molecules attached to the target protein. And in the next step, the marked protein is sent into the proteasome, where the proteolysis of protein occurs, which eventually degrades the protein. So this is the simple pathway which I have shown here in a brief manner. Now let's see what are the types of proteasomes. First we have the 26S or 30S proteasome. Second is the PA28 alpha beta proteasome. Third is the PA28 gamma proteasome. Fourth one is the PA200 proteasome. In all these proteasomes, the core particle is the 20S proteasome. Here in this diagram, we can see the core particle. It's made up of two alpha subunit rings and two beta subunit rings. The inner rings constitute the two beta subunits, whereas the outer rings constitute the two alpha subunits. Furthermore, the 20S or 30S proteasome is divided into four more types. It's first of all standard proteasome, second is the immunoproteasome, third is the thymoproteasome and the last one is the hybrid proteasome. Now getting into the details. The standard proteasome is made up of 19S plus 20S units or it's made up of 19S plus 20S plus 19S units. The 19S is the regulatory unit and 20S is the core unit. So what we have here? The first one which is the 19S plus 20S is actually the 26S proteasome. Whereas the second one that is 19S plus 20S plus 19S is the 30S proteasome. But in literature and books you will find that this 19S plus 20S plus 19S is termed as the 26S proteasome which isn't the actual case here. So for standard proteasome we have 19S as regulatory molecule. And for immuno and thymoproteasome, we also have 19S regulatory molecules. But things change here. The hybrid proteasome has got 11S and 19S as regulatory molecules. Now moving forward, the PA28 alpha beta has got PA28 alpha beta as regulatory molecule. For PA28 gamma, we have PA28 gamma as regulatory molecule. And for PA200, we have got PA200 as regulatory molecule. So this makes up the types of proteasome with different regulatory molecules but same 20S core. The basic structure of 20S core remains same in these types but there are modifications at few residues. If we see the 20S core of proteasome, it has got alpha subunits as outer rings and beta subunits as inner rings. Here in this diagram we can see the 20S core. First we have the two inner rings which are the beta subunits. Then we have the two outer rings which are the alpha subunits that we have already seen in this video. So what makes the difference in these 20S cores? It is the modification in beta ring residues which contribute to the different types of proteasomes. Like we see in standard proteasome we have beta 1, beta 2 and beta 5 residues as catalytic units. And alternatively, if modification occurs, then we have beta 1i, beta 2i and beta 5i residues, which makes the immunoproteasome. The detailed structure of proteasomes will be discussed in the upcoming video. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, do consider supporting my work on Patreon and also make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.